Hello, in this video I am going to explain how meta post can be used for defining a glyph outline and uh, here I'll be using a sample glyph from Malayalam letter GA which is more or less same uh, similar to letter S uh, in English but this is like a flipped one. So uh, before I start let me explain my setup. So here I'm going to use VS Code, Visual Studio Code and uh, um, I have installed a meta post extension just for syntax highlighting and uh, I'm, I will be using an SVG previewer here uh, VS Code has several SVG previewers I'm just using one uh, you can use uh, an inbuilt SVG previewer or you can use an external image editor whatever that supports um, auto loading or you know uh, refreshing the image when it is changed in the disk um, so here I'm using this uh, inbuilt one. Normally I will use an external uh, image viewer, but just for recording this video, I'm using any built-in one. So that's what you are seeing here. And uh, I also have this uh, make auto build that is the uh, auto build feature that I wrote in using make. So when I do make auto build, it will just um, listen for file changes. And if some files are changed, it will again call a make command and make will take care of compiling only the changed files all right so let's start with the letter ga so uh, th this is the boilerplate code uh, we need to start so the first line here it is input the glyph uh, glyph is a set of macros that we define for all the con uh, variables and uh, several macros that ne we need to use for drawing this uh, glyph so i'll come to uh, each and every macro whenever i am defining one but for now it's just a kind of a header file that's already defined all right so let's go back to the uh, letter ga so we included that one this is something like in c it's like a hash include or in javascript like import that kind of statement so we just imported and uh, here I have begin glyph and end glyph. So don't confuse that this is built in in meta post. This is a set of macros that I wrote. And if you go to again glyph.mp and if you search for begin glyph, this is something that I wrote. So it's just a, a scope definition for the variables and the clearing all the uh, resets like uh, coordinates and the setting of default options for. Uh, pens and uh, saving uh, defining some predefined uh, arrays like a uh, paths and then there is another one end glyph end glyph is the is the most important one because it takes every path i defined and uh, you can see that uh, let me close all other things okay this i need okay all right so here um, when I, this is the last line of the um, glyph de definition. So whatever I define between these two things, end glyph will pick up and will run through uh, its paths and it will actually do the rendering. So uh, that is the most important part. And uh, depending on the configuration, it will show this kind of uh, grids uh, and uh, outlines. But you will uh, know about this more when I actually go through a glyph definition. So let's start. Um, so this letter need to start somewhere, right? And uh, meta post has this convention called uh, set variable. So when I say set zero, uh, uh, it's a pair. So when I say set zero, it's like let's say zero zero. So that this is uh, a point in Cartesian coordinates. Um, you can say it's origin. So let's say zero zero. Uh, and uh, let's start set one as uh, some value like. Um, so uh, let's say um, x0 zero. x0 zero means whatever we have defined as the set 0 and its x coordinate plus uh, some value and here in this uh, whole definition I will be using relative values you no know, absolute values so I am going to use uh, something like so every letter is defined as in terms of like constants like m uh, yes, m is the whole height of a Malayalam letter. Here I am going to use say m by 2 and uh, let's say y0 also I am going to use m by 2. Okay, so I define this one. I will come back to this point again just to explain what, what I am doing here. So and when you need to define paths, 
and then this is the zeroth path because it's only one and then let's define z0 go to z1 and this one and i'm saving it so i just saved and the auto build picked up this line and you can see what happened so i defined an origin point so that is here and then i defined a distance that is x0 plus m by 2 y0 plus m by 2 so what is m m is this height from this to this one so that is the height of a malayalam letter i can also use um, variables like a s which is the height of a small letter s uh, and even i can use um, x that is the uh, height of a capital x just some convenient variables that i had defined previously okay so here you get z0 to z1 a, sim a symbol line let us uh, define another uh, point that is z0 z1 this is z2 and uh, let's say x1 plus okay let's not change x1 let's keep the x value same and uh, let's zero y0 is let's not change y0 and let's go back to this original value so that's like it should go down to the point where uh, where x1 is there and uh, y0 is zero so it should go to y0 and let's say um, set to here you go so you see that line goes here okay so all is well so normally we will need uh, not just a horizontal lines we will need curves so uh, for curves we need to use this index double dots so if i use double dots it becomes a curve that goes through z0 z1 z2 points so just to repeat z z variables are the pairs like the coordinates and uh, x values are x coordinates y are y coordinates and the suffix is 0 1 2 these are all self understood like it's the zeroth value first value and so that's it so you get a value like this but let's go back into defining this actual letter ga uh, like i said you can see it's uh, something like this so it need to from come from the top and then go towards left then go bottom then up then bottom so it's like a wave a wave so um here um let us define again set so you can see that it should be at the top so let's say that is the top value and then it need to go for uh, let's say x0 and then y0 value it should go till the middle and then it should go to y uh, yeah zero value uh, so something like this so this is a straight line actually because uh, the x values are remaining same actually i need a, uh, the middle point here it should go towards like this like an opening parenthesis so i can say let's say let us define m by 4 something like that so it goes towards left but you will quickly see that it goes outside the boundary so actually this point should be at the zero because that is the extreme leftmost point so let's define this as zero and then use that value x1 plus uh, m divided by 4 as the value and this as again the value of uh, x0 so it's in the bounds you can see that it goes to the bounds because it is zero all right so we define the first part then here it should curve here and it should go up so let's define more points so that would be z3 and z3 would be z2 plus m by 4 and then the height would be here we have one uh, till this side so we can just use the value of y1 and let's say z3 uh, all right so there is some compilation error you see because i didn't define i, I didn't put the semicolon there so it goes there all right uh, okay so here we came and it, it uh, went to m by 4 m by 4 is not enough i think it says we need to go till m by 2 okay we'll go there and then let's define set 4 set 4 is set 3 plus again m by plus m by 2 and then by 0 and then let's just define set 4 so that goes up we will um, 
fine tune this cliff once we have this outlined so just for defining the outline i am doing this one then we will polish each of these lines okay uh, set 4 is then set 5 is set 4 plus m by 2 by 1 set 6 equal to set 5 okay uh, again y0 all right so what we did uh, we are uh, progressing these points uh, from uh, set 4 every everything uh, increases by an by, by an factor of m by 2 that is width by 2 and then it goes to set 6 so here you can see some uh, angle here and it goes to this loop uh, actually this point is uh, y0 okay so set 4 is uh, this is second point this is the third four third this one and here it should be zero so here it should go all right so we defined c uh, zero one two three four five six six points so we just need only six points to define this letter but here the shapes are completely gone so let's uh, make this um, fine-tuned a bit here I'm seeing that this goes here and then it goes to the left uh, so on the uh, at the line of 4 actually it should go towards this right right so I'm going to define set 4 as the it should go towards right all right so it goes set 4 you can see that it changed it goes from here set 4 goes to right and uh, let's go for uh, a little bit more value something like okay so I think there is some problem here the sixth point that became like this all right let's come back to here later um, three four and then five became here okay I did a big mistake here it should this this are all x values okay here we go all right so it should be a wave so it should not go here it should come here so i'm going to define something like this so so we already got the whole outline all right so we uh, even though i made a mistake we saw how to debug it so uh, please keep in mind that the specific uh, the special meaning of set values and uh, I defined the set as uh, this right as uh, right is like a, uh, an alias for direction zero so you can also give direction zero like the exit angle of that point I can also say uh, like minus 10 degree so you can see that there's a tilt or minus 30 so you can see it's all changing the direction so this is how you control the uh, direction of this arrow so we got the letter the almost almost there now um, this is just the stroke of this cliff but we need outline and it should vary uh, its thickness so if you want to use this as this as a glyph in a font this just uh, this line is not enough you need to define an outline with the stroke beads uh, I mean this is just line so stroke outline would be like covering this whole thing and this would be like the spine of that uh, letter so let's define that one and for that we need to use a macro called a pen stroke pen stroke macro and uh, that should that will take a few arguments uh, the first argument will be like paths zero and the output will be in a variable called stock zero so this is la this is the variable we are passing to receive the outline all right so th this is what i meant the outline so this is the middle of the one that controls the um, direction of the outline but what you see in the blue color that's the exact thing what we need so we got an ac uh, outline actually and it has no modulation thickness is same everywhere and the uh, edges are actually rounded uh, so we need to control the uh, cut angle how to how much we need to cut the terminals and we also need to control uh, 
the width of this uh, points how much we need to give the thickness of at each point so that's the that's called the stroke modulation and uh, we are going to do that one and so for this one this pen stroke also takes options like you can pass nibs uh, like uh, which uh, pen nib you can you need to use at each each point so let's use a nib this is the nib option and uh, let us use terminal nib terminal nib so that's the terminal nib and let's say it need to be rotated uh, we need to say uh, angle of rotation and let's say it's just a 30 degree rotated at a point um, zero right okay so point zero is this one and i said 30 degree rotation for this one and it just uh, used a nib uh, a terminal nib and rotated at the 30 degree but we need that node at like let's say zero so we go at zero angle nib all right so we will come back to this uh, nib correction again but you see that you can define the angle of that nib here rotated zero you can define any nib like like 60 so it becomes like this or you can even like 120 so this becomes like this or 150 so like this so for now let's see keep it as zero all right so that is the nib angle for zero and that so that is the one terminal and we need to define it for the the last terminal also last terminal it's the sixth point you can use six uh, as the number here or you can also use infinity it's a special value it just uh, takes the maximum value and it will take care of finding what is the last point of this path so i'm using zero uh, uh, sorry the infinity value here and uh, you again see that this cliff this this nib is like uh, with that terminal nib rotated at zero because it is zero the nib it's kind of sharp let us q 90 so that we get some definition there. okay we got it 90 there all right now let's come back and uh, how to make this um, in this font we need all these vertical paths as thin so we need thin here here also we need thin and the thin so point at point one three five we need thin nibs all right so let's go and say thin nib uh, so these are all predefined nibs and uh, let us say um, okay these are all rotated and uh, like i said one three five and all those points we need uh, thin nib we can give comma separated values three five all right you see that one three five are thin nibs and here like that you can also give thick nib uh, thick nib at uh, which points um, okay I gave 135 but it will be overridden here so that's why you are not seeing any changes but we need at point 2 and point 4 you need thick nib you don't need to give this actually because the default nib is thick so that's why you are not seeing any change so we got this glyph now um, there is one more thing left I, I said we can give angles like a 0 90 but in this cliff i want this cut this terminal cut perpendicular to whatever direction this um, line is approaching so like this we need a cut here an angle perpendicular to that one so that can be found by using another macro that i wrote so that is the terminal angle uh, at the c point zero of uh, path zero so you see that uh, now I got an angle um, I mean I can also calculate this angle uh, manually but here I am automatically calculating uh, based on uh, I will first calculate this angle then I will add degree 90 uh, so that will become an angle perpendicular to this tangent so I get a sharp cut just perpendicular to this line and similarly I will also do the same thing for instead of 90 I will say um infinity the last angle okay i got the cut here all right so i got the whole definition now i need to do some fine tuning because this is not exactly the shape i needed here uh, first of all let's say 
this is this direction is almost 180 the terminal angle 180 it's going at uh, degree 180 i i want a little bit go it's not just coming to the 180 i need to go to let's say a little bit towards the bottom you see that it's a i think it, it's uh, better than the angle 180 all right and now the next thing is this angle uh, for the point one it is going uh, towards a little bit further from the vertical how to make that ghost vertical let's say uh, i can say down so it will go just down downwards and this angle i wanted it to go uh, horizontal so this is right uh, right now it's going with a, a little bit angle at towards the bottom i want it to go towards straight and if some i will say approach z2 at an angle towards the right or angle zero and it will also it should also exit at angle towards right all right so it's going right and then at point is four i want um, this point it's now horizontal that is up approaching at the zero and uh, exiting at the zero so that's not i wanted i want to go a little bit towards the bottom like z4 approach angle should be uh, slightly towards the bottom just to follow this uh, direction so it's right towards right because i gave this one so i'm going if i remove this one it this is the um, curve fitting angle but i can control this so i want it to go to a little bit angle towards the bottom so like this um, all right so how i'm defining all these angles it's just from my personal experience like how the direction should be gone uh, so that's it so there is no magic here but uh, you will see that once i am finished with the letter and this angle it's vertical the, at the point 5 it's vertical but i want it to go towards um, it's uh, going vertical but it should go for where it is leading right so let's say uh, it's uh, should be direction 100 right so when i say 100 uh, it's actual angle 260 uh, because you know 270 is the bottom uh, the angle that's going to the bottom in the quadrant for quadrant and uh, that is also you can express that using minus 90 so I'm just uh, increasing that to minus 100 so this is these are the angles I want now um, now this doesn't look good the exact shape right uh, because I also wanted to correct all these metrics I wanted to a little bit more compact um, so first i'm going to define everywhere i used a m by 2 this is like a half of the whole glyph going towards um, the right side so you can see m by 2 m by 2 m by 2 so like i said m is the m is this value from this one to the one the height of this letter so i will use every value as the ratio of the height okay so here at the point 5 here it should not go this much i think it should just go for let's say m by 3 all right okay looks better right that angle um, all right then this angle like uh, minus angle so even though okay i need to explain this one because i defined z0 as x1 plus m by 4 but if you think that x1 is not defined at this point z1 is not defined at this point right so why x1 is how x1 is resolved so metapost follows a strong mathematical foundations so all these are like mathematical equations and all these the six equations will be solved simultaneously to resolve all the values so z0 x1 the value of x1 will be calculated at at the time of drawing it so that means uh, even though i defined z1 after z0 x1 will be resolved when it is executed all right so so that's why that's how it is working and uh, i don't want this much value here i need to reduce a little bit less let's say m by six 
okay all right now this is vertical i don't th this this point goes almost vertical right yeah it should not be that case it should go um okay the first value this is because x0 this is same as this value that's why x1 plus um, let's say m by 4 okay m by 4 then uh, the point 3 should not be far away because this should be a narrow and this should be the sweeping uh, curve that should be the size so it should be um, again m by 4 all right see I'm all I'm almost there all right okay now uh, I also wanted to do a little bit more correction uh, to this uh, to the whole weight uh, this point 0 1 2 it is at the bottom at the point number point number 2 I want a, this a little bit up and how much I need to go so this point touches here I want the bottom of uh, the outline touches on the baseline all right so that value is uh, so 0 means it will touch here I want it a little bit up and uh, how much that is the uh, the half of this thickness so thick is already defined based on different values I uh, defended the macro because that's the pen uh, width so I'm going thick by 2 all right see I got thick by 2 so it just uh, resides on top of it all right now um, this looks good um, all right okay so let's i'm almost done with the glyph but i want to show you a little uh, more features of uh, this programming line so i'm going to um say swap this thick nib and the thin nib just to show you how you can achieve the contrast so here i'm changing the whole glyph appearance by changing where the thick nibs appear where the thin nibs appear and uh, so here you can see that uh, um, now the horizontal paths are thick uh, sorry thin and the vertical are thick and if i want to change this also this terminal also thin i can say this is a thin terminal and this is also thin terminal all right you see a completely different um, shape for this whole glyph all right so i'm going to undo those changes to get the previous shape okay all right i think i'm almost there there is one detail that we need to be aware so when i when i am doing this uh, progress in x direction i was just using m as the value but this will not allow me to use the same glyph, defi glyph definition uh, to produce expand and condensed glyph variations uh, if i want to change the m value it's also, uh, if i want to change the width value it need to be adapted so there is a special variable called mw mw multiplied by width of the glyph and this w i can modify okay so this is multiplication on the x axis so there won't be much change to the glyph it's the uh, same because uh, width is uh, same here um, just uh, the value of the w is one here but um, if I change uh, this value of W somewhere here, let me show you the definition of MW. So here, so MW is M into the condensed value. Uh, so you can see the condensed factor is something like uh, 1, 1.2 or 0 0.8 depending on the condensed value, the glyph will condense. And if you look at the condensed variant, you can see condensed value 0 0.8. So that's how it will, it will work. Uh, when I change the value of W, it will expand or skews. All right. Um, I think I'll stop here because the all, uh, this much concepts in this single video is all my, all, already a little bit more than you can grasp. Um, I hope you figured out the Indian as how you define a glyph using Metacost. Thank you for watching.